I sat all morning in the college sick bay, counting bells, knelling classes to a close. At two o'clock our neighbours drove me home. In the porch I met my father crying. He'd always taken funerals in his stride, and big Jim Evans saying it was a hard blow. The baby cooed and laughed and walked the pram. When I came in and I was embarrassed by old men standing up to shake my hand and tell me they were sorry for my trouble. Whispers informed strangers I was the eldest, a weird school. As my mother held my hand in hers and coughed out angry tearless sighs. At ten o'clock the ambulance arrived with the corpse stanched and bandaged by the nurses. Next morning I went up into the room. Snowdrops and candles soothed by the bedside, I saw him. For the first time in six weeks, paler now, wearing a poppy bruise on his left temple. He lay in the four-foot box as in his coat. No gaudy scars, the bump knocked him clear. The four-foot box, a foot for every year.